those who are stealing these things obviously have a reason why they are stealing it. Despite that you have assured that they are useless, there must be something they can still do with it. Are you working on the option of making sure that whatever they do with it does not compromise whatever result you come up with at the end of the day? Thank you. Okay, and the final question before we get some answers. Good afternoon, Prof. My question goes to you. My name is Anita Aluya. I'm a journalist right now. I'm with Urban Paparazzi. Um, I was in Yenegua, and I was um, opportuned to observe their um, um, PVC collection because that day was declared public holiday for them. And they had um, close to 16 uh, locations where the people could go and get their PVCs. But before then, we were hearing that uh, some of them were complaining, even if we go there, we're not going to get our PVCs. And I was with the other reporters, and I said, something is going wrong. Why would you go to your location, and yet you don't get your PVC? So on the other hand, we were now opportune to see the REC, the commissioner, that's the resident electoral commissioner. And he was now like, these people, we've been shouting, go get your PVCs, but everybody was indoor until um, they were threatened with the fact that if you don't get your PVC, you're not going to get, collect your salary. And I was like, okay, that is one point. Then, on the other side, the so people the question, were not we, like, yeah, the yeah, question, my, yeah in a summary, um, we finally found out that they were talking about multiple registration, that if you have this multiple re registration, or, or if you did multiple registration, there's no way you're going to collect your PVC. So my question, Prof. Sir, is what is multiple registration? Because when you break these things down to Nigerians, that is when we get to understand them better. And yeah. why is it that PVC collection is really difficult, even as, because many people are still complaining that they've not gotten their PVCs. Thank you Thank very you. Much. So, Prof., you answer the questions, and then Mercy straight to you for a few more from social media, yeah? Um, oh, okay, thank you very much. Um, on the issue of sensitization for the distribution of the PVCs, we've, we've done our best to sensitize people. Uh, many people have told us and have expressed concerns that maybe we didn't do uh, enough of sensitization, you know. So, but we've done our best within the limitation of our resources to do sensitization uh, to get people to come out and to collect uh, these uh, cards. Um, but I think what has been missing, because regrettably, some stakeholders think that the issue of sensitization is only the responsibility of INEC. You know, political parties have a stake in getting people to come out to collect their cards and to go and vote. You know, because if they don't do so, they, they, their fortunes, electoral fortunes, may also be uh, affected. So, regrettably, uh, if you do an analysis, you will see that really political parties have not been up and doing with regards to uh, uh, sensitization also. So, it's a collective responsibility. Yes, we have an obligation to do it. We have done it. It may not be adequate. If others had complemented what we are doing, perhaps it would have been much better. But we've been doing our best under the circumstances uh, to do that. Now, uh, uh, you also mentioned what you call the need for thumb management, how people can clean their hands and so on. We have started doing that now. We've instructed the resident electoral commissioners to use community-based organizations to do that. Because the cleaner the hands, obviously, the faster the time it takes to be able to, to accredit uh, people. With regards to the IDPs, we've always come clean on the issue of the IDP. We have recognized that in the three northeast states that are challenged with the insurgency, Unless efforts are made to allow internally displaced persons to vote, there may be difficulty in having a return, both for governorship and for other constituency level elections. And it may also affect uh, returns in the presidential elections. So that is why INEC took the decision 
that we would work very hard to ensure that as many of the internally displaced persons in these three states are allowed to participate in the electoral process. There, we, we have no time or resources to be able to organize voting for 2015 elections for all internally displaced persons whether they have gone out of the country or whether they have moved out of these states. It's practically impossible for INEC to be able to do that. But where we have placed priority is that all internally displaced persons that are still remaining in these states, we have made arrangements and identified venues, and in these venues we distributed their permanent voters' cards and we are making arrangements for them to be able to vote in these locations. And the polling units in those locations are going to be arranged in the order of constituencies, in order, again, to make it easier for being able to make a return. So the uh, 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 card readers will be configured in accordance with the polling units and the constituencies that are defined in these uh, areas. So, and the other thing, there are over one million internally displaced persons within those states. But only a fraction of them, I think barely 20%, actually are in camps. So there are more internally displaced persons in host communities than there are in the camps. So that's why the arrangements we are making is we found suitable places, in most cases outside of the camps, except in Maiduguri, where in a few places we've located them inside of the camps for security reasons. But we find suitable places so that both people in and out of camps will be able to access these polling stations for them to be able to uh, participate in the electoral process. Now, uh, we believe that after the 2015 general elections, the template we will be using for the internally displaced persons within these states is something we can refine so that in subsequent elections we may be able to cater for all categories of internally displaced persons because there are people who have been displaced by floods, flooding, others by communal conflicts, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, so I've answered that question. We, if somebody has been displaced and he crosses the border to another country, frankly, we have no facility, no capacity, as I speak with you, to be able to organize for them. In fact, once they have left those states, it's very, very difficult for us to come and organize elections for them in Abuja and be able to transfer their uh, uh, results to the appropriate constituencies before we are able to make a return. You know, it's possible to do it, but given the time and the resources we have, you know, it's something that we've decided not to, to do. Because doing it can create more complications for us. Uh, 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 so you don't want to want to solve a problem and it creates so many others uh, in the process. Now, uh, uh, I don't know, Chidi, maybe you can answer this question about cloning or hacking and so on. The summary of it is that we feel confident that, yes, people will try to clone cards, but a clone card cannot be read by our card reader. And we've seen it now, at least during these additional public demonstrations we did, at least in Port Harcourt, in River State, somebody came with a clone card, you know, and uh, presented it, and uh, clearly the card reader didn't read it. And uh, in the commotion, somehow, regrettably again, before our senior officials could get there, he ran away and escaped. Because he could have been arrested and prosecuted for bringing a clone card there. Many people deliberately had gone to wrong, uh, to polling units other than the ones they had registered and had tried uh, to, to be accredited. And they couldn't be accredited because the card reader would not uh, allow it. It will provide information clearly that you are not registered in that uh, polling uh, unit. So hacking, we have examined all the possibilities of how can you hack. 
and what can we do to make